Hey, hey, what's up guys? Alec from Tinker Coffee here. We're gonna do a tutorial video on how to brew coffee with an automatic coffee maker. I've got the Technivore Mocha Master here. You may have a Coffee Mate, Mr. Coffee, or a Breville. I think a lot of these principles that we talk about today are going to translate across devices and a lot of our principles are gonna stay sound. So firstly, we wanna use great water. I've got a liter of water dosed out into our brewer and we wanna use freshly ground specialty coffee. We're doing about 56 grams per liter, but depending on your recipe or your coffee that you're using, you may wanna go as high as 60 grams per liter. We're grinding at about on a medium, so just slightly coarser than you might do for a pour over. Although if you're doing a smaller batch size, you feel free to play with that grind to get the nice even extraction that you're looking for. Once we've got our coffee ground, the Technoform here uses a number four size filter. We're using Filtropa, although you can use Melita or any other brand. Freshly ground coffee is important because as soon as coffee is ground, it begins to lose its flavor. And so we want to capture as much of that in our final cup as we can. So we're using coffee that was ground right before we begin our brew. Something I like to do after I've put my coffee back into my filter holder is give it a slight shake, just a little back and forth. That gives us a nice even coffee bed. We don't wanna have a big mountain of coffee on one side and a dip down on the other because coffee is gonna to go to the path of least resistance. So if we have a nice, flat, even bed, then the water will pass through it evenly rather than finding a channel to extract more on one side and less on the other. And then the part that we love the most about these brewers is it's a simple start. So a brewer like the Technovorm is nice because it has a heating element in the plate. And I keep mine on the lower setting. What you'll find is that the coffee gets too strong as the water evaporates. And we wanna make sure that our coffee is tasting good the whole way through. So I keep mine on the lower setting. One of the biggest benefits to using a coffee maker like this is control of the variables, particularly with temperature and flow rate. The way that we're brewing really is the exact same as a pour over. We're just letting a machine take some of those steps for us. So as the water warms up and passes over the coffee, these types of brewers typically have a lid over it. That seals in the temperature and it makes our brew temp consistent throughout. However, as the coffee's brewing, if you have the option and your brewer maybe isn't able to quite get as hot as one of these nicer automatic machines, you can just pop the lid off Give it a stir, making sure that all of your coffee has had contact with water evenly, and then immediately putting it back in to lock in that temperature. That's gonna increase your total possible extraction yield. So I typically max out my brews out of one liter. I hesitate to go any higher than that because the larger the coffee bed, even if your coffee maker can max out at a higher level, I find that the the cup quality is better with those smaller batch sizes. We don't wanna to go too small, and we don't wanna to go too big. While this coffee is brewing, I did wanna mention a couple other things. First, we use the bleached filter papers because the brown natural ones, they hold on to the woody taste and you can taste that in your final cup of coffee. And over time, you may find that some scale begins to build up, particularly towards the heating elements, either uh, where the water is coming out or where it's heating up inside of the water vessel. And it's possible that you'll want to do some routine descaling. And I like to use a coffee cleaning solution called Kafiza to soak my brew basket and my carafe. And I do that once a week to make sure all of the coffee residue is constantly being cleaned out. Once the water is done flowing through, our brew is done, and the coffee will drain out of the basket, your coffee's ready to drink. 
don't forget to slurp.